Yeah, no, they did not say that. <laughs> I mean, they they definitely took a glance down every avenue they had <laughs> to put in, but um, you know, I guess it was just meant to be. So they they, they were, so, okay, and it's interesting. From their perspective, they were stuck. Yeah. Right. We have nobody else to put out there. Exactly. Okay. And yet you're going, hey, I think this was meant to be. Exactly. Your perspective's like there's a plan unfolding here. Yeah. Exactly. Sure thing going on. I knew okay. that you know all of this all of this hard work that I'm putting in every day, it's 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 not just for you know kicks and grins. Right. I knew that eventually I would get an opportunity to play. I didn't know how that would come about, but I knew that eventually I would get an opportunity to play if I just kept focused and kept working hard. And uh, you know I, I I knew the plays. I, I was confident in my ability. Right. And when they uh, when the guy went down, I was hey next man up. So you're you're going to take the field as a starter now against Northwestern. Yep. So you knew your you knew your opponents were going to be smart. Smart, right? <laughs> They're smart guys. Yeah. Okay. They're you're going to take the field. The and, but the game, your first game as a starter, didn't start out too well, did it? No. You see, about halfway okay. through the third quarter, what was the score? It was uh, thirty-eight to three. Three. Stay? No. No. <laughs> okay. So it's like you guys are down like big time. And I know some of you may remember the game because. It ended a little differently, right? Oh yes, oh yes. It, okay. Uh, it, actually, to this day, is still the uh, greatest comeback in NCAA history. And, uh, greatest comeback in NCAA history, down thirty-eight to three, mm -hmm. about halfway through the third quarter, and Michigan State actually comes back with a lap field goal, about fifteen seconds left, mm -hmm. to win the game, forty-one thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, but see, here's here's the cool thing. You're starter now. Mm -hmm. How many tackles do you have? Right here? I had ten tackles. I, I love that. I think I think I had ten. Nine. Must been right in there somewhere. <laughs> but ten, okay. And uh, and and after State comes back and they manage to tie the score. Mm -hmm. There's like three minutes, a little over three minutes left to go in the game. They tie the score. And now Northwestern has the ball and they're like, okay, now they're going. We got to get serious. Yeah. Okay, we have this game won now. Now we're tied. So they're going to start marching down the field, hopefully for a last minute field or something to win the game. And uh, that's when Travis Keith took over, right? I don't know about it. Took over. <laughs> <laughs> I was, what, uh, what, what happened? I was, I was blessed enough to be in the right place at the right time. <laughs> oh, and what happened when you were in the right place at the right time? I got an interception. You got an interception? <laughs> hey, hey, you want to see it? Just under four minutes to go in the game. Except, uh, Michigan State has three. First down. Boucher off his back foot. Intercepted. Intercepted by Michigan State's Travis Key. <laughs> Of the season was great. Uh, went through the winter conditions was great. Uh, spring ball was great. And going into fall camp, my coach called me in his office and he said, uh, "Well, we're we're not going to be able to give you a scholarship this fall." Really? And I was kind of I was kind of bothered. I didn't know why. There was really no explanation. Believe it or not, it was just kind of this is what's going to happen. And, you know, if you perform, you know, and, and, and something opens up, then we'll give it to you. But Right, as of at this point, we're just going to have to take wow. out. Wow. So, once again, talk about uncertainty. You think, most people would think, watching how the season unfolded, good to go. Of course, there's a little coaching change going on at this time. Yeah. At, this, yeah, at this point, the coaches are you know, on a hot seat. Yeah. On a hot seat. So. Okay. And so, anyway, because I want to get to the pro part. Mm -hmm. He ended up getting a scholarship back your senior year? Yep. Ended up getting a scholarship back my my. Fifth year, this is my fifth year. Right, it was your fifth year, which right. was your fourth year of playing football. Right, right, right. right. So, yeah, all right. So you didn't get it back, and you had, you had a pretty good year in your senior year. Yeah, it was all right. 
Is that, yeah, yeah, it was all right. In fact, you know, they're starting to talk, you pro scouts, right? Start talking. Yeah. Starting to grade you out. Yeah. Starting to go, ah, Travis Key should go in the. My, I had like a fifth round grade. Fifth yeah. round, fifth round pick, okay. I believe I was scouted out like third round. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, that was from midget football. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so you're, now you're, you're drafting. Of course, at this point, have you signed an agent at this point? After the season, yeah. After the season, yeah. That's very good. Maybe it could have been, been a problem there. Yeah. 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 So you said, now, gee, I got a question for you, all right? Because you got, I mean, at this point, it's like, okay, he's going to graduate. Oh, it's interesting. Before you guys got married, you kind of had a stipulation? Yeah. Yeah, and that stipulation was what? I won't marry him until he has a college degree. Yeah, okay, see, so <laughs> the boy buckled down when he was in school. He was like, I got to get a degree. By the way, were you an academic all American? No, academic all Big Ten. Academic all Big Ten. So, man, you were still hitting the books pretty good, okay? What? Four times four. academic all Big four, Ten. Four times yeah. academic all Big Ten. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, that, that's good. So now, but here's the deal, okay? So he's great grades, mm -hmm. engineering degree, mm -hmm. got a good career going on. Now he's, gee, he's signing, he's signing with an agent. And at this point, you got to be going, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The, the life I was thinking was going to unfold might look a little different. Yeah. How, how did that make you feel? Well, um, back up a little bit. When he was going into his fifth year, and he had already graduated and you know had a, a job almost lined up for him at where he did his internship, mm -hmm. I was thinking, this is great. You know, I mean, I'm teaching now, working, and he's going to be working, and we can finally get married after all this time, and we can have a normal life. You know, it'll be wonderful. Um, but that's not what happened. Okay. He decided then, which I'm glad in hindsight that he did, uh, to play his fifth year, which that ended up being his, his best year. Um, and then once he finished that year and was talking about professional football, I mean, we never even talked about that, never even, I don't think either of us really, really thought about it at all as an option. Um, and then he signed with an agent, and obviously we talked about it, but I didn't, still at that point, I didn't know what we were getting into. Okay. And, you know, that uncertainty, I'm a planner, I'm an organizer, that uncertainty was very hard for me because here I thought we were going to, live in a nice little house and have a cute little family and, you know, work nine to five, you know, whatever, and, and it would, we would live happily ever after. But now this whole new world has just unfolded in front of me, and, and I'm looking at it as the only thing I knew about professional football was watching Jerry Maguire. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking that life is, you know, show me the money, which is fine, but that's really not what it's like, and so he soon learned that. That's right, because he actually had, he was interning, right, at a place yeah. in, like Michigan. in Flint, and they were, like, ready to offer you a good job, and you graduate, off you go. Yeah. That was your plan. Yeah. If that's not how the Seems like went. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now, oh, yeah, I, I don't know how yeah. it's to work. Right. So draft day comes, mm -hmm. and this is when you kind of learn your first lesson, which is nobody really is straight with you in professional games. Exactly. Yeah. You know, because you got told a number of things. Hey, we're looking at you, we're looking at you, no call. No. Anyway, the draft day, second draft day in, seven rounds, you don't get picked. Don't get picked. Kind of disappointed. Yeah. You're ready to walk away now, right? Just, okay, professional football is not for me. Didn't get picked. Not necessarily. No? No? no. 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 Well, just, what were you thinking? I, I, my mindset went all the way back to, to my freshman year in college. You know, I, I've been at this point, I faced this, this monster before. Um, I knew that. I would have to just go in here and bust my butt, work hard, yeah. and just prove all over again that I can play. So you ended up signing a free agent contract with who? Uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Okay, the Minnesota Vikings. Dude, if you were still playing for them, you'd be playing with Brett Favre. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a Packers fan. <laughs> no. I might be. <laughs> so, uh... So you, you sign a contract with Minnesota, okay? And uh, you start working out with them. And they're, what, what are they telling you while you're going through this process? Oh, they're, you know, actually, I, I made the decision to sign with those guys uh, because the, the draft process with them, they were probably the most hands-on team that I dealt with throughout the draft process. Um, you know, they were telling me, you know, we're definitely gonna draft you with one of our you know, secondary picks and stuff like that. They flew me out for, uh, you know, to meet the president and the GM and all the coaches and um, went over the film. They showed me how I would fit in their scheme and things like this. So I'm like, oh, yeah, this is This, this is great. I found a home.